What's up everybody? It's the Common Sense Investor coming at you with another video and I am doing some research on the Luna Terra crash and according to Reddit which you know I don't consider a reliable source however it can be used as a springboard that you could look at and decide I'm going to research this article or this post on Reddit to see if it's true. Now, I was watching one video and they were talking about the Luna Terra crisis and they said and they quote here a source I guess and I'm like what do you mean a, they quote a source you guess I mean did did they quote a source did you follow through on the source did you see if the source was right see I mean a lot of youtubers throw out videos without doing the proper research so I'm on top of it I'm looking at it and right now I'm looking at fortune magazine and I found this article this is the end of the story where thousands of people have lost a lot a lot of money and the title of the article says I didn't get out because I got greedy that says a lot watch what else he says investors share losses on Luna reddit forum as the coin drops 97 percent in 24 hours so I went and looked at the chart of Luna and this is what I found that this stable coin started off at a dollar 31 somewhere in that area fell down consolidated had a little run up and then boom it was gone and it went as high as 117 118 dollars 119 dollars from pennies to a hundred and nineteen dollars a share then it crashed boom it went down again to 64 cents right now they're blaming BlackRock and Citadel which I'm looking into because these two are sort of like sworn enemies but it seems as if the two sworn enemies came together to do this and everybody's focused on the manipulation the losses and stuff but nobody why why would BlackRock and Citadel do this to that stable coin it had they had to know the attention it would bring to them so something's not right here even though I know that the stock's been manipulated and I know that BlackRock and Citadel are probably involved but there's more to this story than just two companies teaming up and crashing the crypto market you don't attack. <laughs> There's thousands upon thousands of shares or crypto that they could have done this to. Why did they pick a stable coin? That's the question. Stable coins are supposed to be, well, stable. So this happened to it. Wonder what happened. Why did they choose a stable coin? Why? Tell me what y'all think down below, and uh, I'll be using some of your comments in the next video. But for now, that's what I'm focusing on. I'm not focusing on what happened. I'm focused on why they did it. And over here, back to the article, which is pretty important. I want to bring out this one fact. He didn't get out because he was greedy. Goes on to say, an algorithmic stable coin that should always be worth a dollar lost his peg to the U.S. dollar last week and has dropped as low as 30 cents. Moon is a sister crypto coin that is tied to the price of the UST and is used to stabilize UST. It lost 97% of its value. Now let's see. First, they were talking about people who were co contemplating suicide over losing so much money. All right. And then the next one, he says, I really believed in the project and the builders of the ecosystem. I didn't get out because I got greedy and I hoped it would go up more. Another one says, well, now that even if it, uh, I want to get out, I can't, as all my Luna are locked staking. He staked his Luna, and now he can't get to it to sell, which is a good thing. You don't want to sell at 30 fucking cents. I cannot pay the bank. I will lose my home soon, a user wrote. The point I want to bring in this video is we're getting close to this Moash people. They are cashing up, getting ready. Don't be like these people. This man said that he was holding on because he was trying to reach that limit to where he could get a down payment for a home or pay for a home and 
before it could reach that point, it crashed. So that's a lesson that everybody here can learn when the squeeze happens and you've made a lot of fucking money, be greedy. Be greedy. You see what they're capable of. So when you get a chance to take really, really, really good profit, I'm not telling you to sell early. I'm telling you what I've always told. And people agree, others disagree, but you stair-step your sales up. Make sure you're making your money. You don't want to be in this play for over a year only to have the rug pulled out from under you, just like this just happened. And if they can do it to Luna and they've done it to AMC for a year and all the rest of the stocks. Look, people, take your money as soon as you can. Get it out of your broker's account and into your bank account and then do what you want from there. This is getting ready to go probably, who knows. But when it does is the point. Don't be greedy. Please, people, I don't want to see nobody lose out on this play. Get your initial investment back and work whatever plan you want after that. But don't hold out on all your shares and be greedy, please. These people are contemplating suicide because they've been in this play and they've lost all their money and I don't want that to happen to you. So I love you. I want y'all to be blessed and be smart and I'll see you in the next video.